you already know what's up this your girl re up and welcome back to another video by my man bill burr bill bill burr <laughs> If you're new here, and if you're not new here, kick back, relax, and let's enjoy this hilarious clip. Let's go. Now, I love Elvis, okay? He fascinates me. He's like the first rock star with the power of television. They just intercepted, and he went to this, this he ascended to this level of fame that no one had ever been to before. Hence, he made all the mistakes because there was no one there to help him out, right? He got a piece of shit manager that stole from him. Bam! He stopped making music, started making shitty movies. He's not a good actor, right? Does that. Married a minor, started doing drugs, got fat, got an entourage, got even fatter, started wearing onesies, doing karate kits, split his fucking <laughs> pants, nobody saying shit. You look good, King. You like that? You like a lot. We're the balls hanging out. We love it, King. Keep fucking going. Starts doing pills, gets addicted. He fucking dies alone on a toilet. All right, this man kicked open all of those fucking doors for the rest of us, all right? So I sit down and I'm watching this documentary as a white dude, which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, watching this white shit. It's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second. <laughs> right? Now my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now I hate saying that because it makes it seem like I'm gonna start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know those dumb white guy, black guy jokes? And you know, it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I gotta, I gotta do my taxes. Can this chair hold me? And the black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You gotta relax, man. You just gotta let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I love this laugh. It's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference. You know, because at 15, the end of the day, that's it's amazing. A All right. It's going to be the same fights. I don't give a fuck who you're with. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. There might be more head movement and hand gestures with different races of women. <laughs> Possibly an index finger jabbing at your forehead, whatever the fuck that is. But at the end of the day, it's the same fights. What's going on with us? Do you need to work on this? Why don't we communicate better, right? So she starts watching this shit as a black person, right? And uh, she's seeing all the racism, obviously, that I'm seeing. But she was catching all this subtle shit that I was too white to see. But I knew I was missing it because I just kept hearing her huffing and puffing. Just sitting next to me being like... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, okay, somebody did something. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I don't think that was good. <laughs> So right when, I, right when I didn't think it could get any worse, it could get any more uncomfortable between the two of us, this fucking white dude comes on who evidently discovered Elvis. And he's like 100 and fucking 90 years old. And he comes out and starts talking. He's just like, well, uh, basically, uh, I was looking for a white boy that could take the down and dirty nasty blues and combine it with the pristine angelic sounds of bluegrass. Yeah, that's what he was doing. He was suddenly putting black shit down here while he was propping up the white shit. You know, the down and dirty, daddy not sticking around, drug infested neighborhood blues with the Jesus as white as me, hair the color of the sun, angelic bluegrass playing music, right? So at this point, my wife has like my fucking goodness. steam coming out of her ears. So I make a judgment call. I, ju I just fucking shut it off, right? And she looks at me, she's that's like, smart. why did you shut that off? Why did you shut it off? I was like, because you're about three minutes away from yelling at me like I produced this music. For real. Right? <laughs> let's, just, let's just forget it. We'll watch something else. She's like, no, why can't we just watch the rest of this and then discuss it afterwards? It's like, I, said, I don't fucking do that. I don't watch a documentary. I don't want to have a fucking lecture because of these fucking assholes. I didn't do anything. I'm just, I'm just sitting there watching TV. Yeah. And not to mention, we're just, we're just gonna get into an argument. She's like, well, why would we get into an argument? I'm like, ugh. All right, you know what? Because not for nothing, there was some black people in there saying some shit. You know what? The, us women, we... Wait, us women. We need to learn 
how to not make an argument, okay? If a man does something to avoid an argument, we need to learn how to let it go and let it be. I feel like that was a smart move by Bill by turning the TV off and just getting rid, you know, just getting rid of it before and before the whole situation become even more awkward for the both of them, you know? So I I I that was a that was a smart move. I mean, in my opinion, but us women, we 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 gotta stop. When a man don't really wanna argue, we we shouldn't keep asking questions that will turn it into an argument when they're you wanna you know when the men are trying to avoid it. We gotta do better with that. Seriously, and I'm saying we including myself. Okay, because I'm not perfect. That's all I'm saying. You got to get it together, ladies. I do this. That's all I'm saying. And not to mention, we're just, we're just going to get into an argument. She's like, well, why would we get into an argument? I'm like, ugh. <laughs> all right, you know why? Because not for nothing, there were some black people in there saying some shit that I didn't agree with. You know? I'm not huffing and puffing. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Like, what black people? <laughs> like, what black people that said what? And at that point, it's like you started the luge, right? You can't get off the fucking sled. <laughs> now you gotta have the argument. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, here we go. Guess we're having this. And I'm like, all right. All right, the black guy brought up leg shaking. Saying Elvis took leg shaking from us. It's like, really? Leg shaking? No, nobody thought to, 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 to fucking do this. Black people came up with that. He's telling me that. I'll even give you that. Let's say you came up with that, but where did that black dude learn how to do it? Didn't he watch some older black guy do it? But what, because he's the same color? He, he, he's not stealing, he's just carrying on the tradition. But if Elvis does it, oh, oh, what the fuck? Now he's the biggest thief ever? That doesn't make any sense to me. She goes, no, you idiot. It's not about the leg shaking, okay? It's, it's about, he appropriated a culture. He took all the music, he got all the money, got all the fame, he's called the king of it now, and he never gave a shit, not even a shout out. And I was like, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. You made about seven or eight good points there that I can't respond. Yeah. <laughs> you, you appropriated a culture. I get it. You're right. She goes, fine. Thank you. And I go, however. <laughs> not for nothing, do I get mad at you when you get on a skateboard and you start going down the fucking street? Do I get all offended like, hey man, that's some white shit. Stop appropriating my culture, man. from LA to New York in under six hours? And she just, yeah. <laughs> she just stares at me. She's just like, that was fucked up. <laughs> that, that's hilarious. Oh, man. The, when he just describing the whole scenario, I just picture everything in my head, how him and his wife are like, you know, like going back and forth with it. I don't know them personally, but I'm just picturing it, you know, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been in that same situation. It's 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 crazy. That's that's funny. That's funny. My God, Bill Burr. As always, thank you for watching me react to these funny, hilarious ass stand-up comedy videos. And Hit that subscribe button for me so you can see more videos just like this one. Toodles.